you are live. Oh, I can't that. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to What Wants to Go Insane. My name is Tracy, and I am the owner of Tracy's Fancy, and I'm here live painting in my shop tonight. I just created this custom color that I absolutely love. Um, and I'm painting this huge buffet and what I want it to be olive green, which I think it is olive green, but someone also said that it looks like avocado green and it kind of does look like the retro avocado green refrigerators. What do y'all think? Um, there is a transfer up at the top hanging on the wall that I actually am going to use. This is one of the new design transfers by Dixie Bell that is available on my link as, or with my link as of today. Um, and I put a link at the top of this video. I posted several pieces that I've done today with transfers. And I've been saving this one that I really wanted to use on this buffet. I'm going to be putting this piece in the center here and on the both drawers and maybe around this outside section. I haven't decided on this outside section yet, but for sure in the middle of those pieces as the feature color. And that is exactly what you get in the tube up there. It's all four of those sheets together. That's what will arrive inside the tube and they match and they make a long uh, constant pattern that goes from left to right there, which is perfect for the center of these drawers. And inside this tiny, uh, inside this print is this tiny little piece of green, just one little random leaf every so often. And I didn't have, out of all the greens that Dixie Bells offers, I didn't have the right color green. So I got out here today and I started mixing some colors and I came up with this color and I love it because it is perfect. Um, and it is a one-to-one -one mix of- So are those available now? The transfers, yes, they're available tonight. I put my link on the page, uh, I mean, my link up there, or I can link you a, a, send you a link that takes you directly to the transfer if you'd like it, just let me know. And this one is called Latin Floral. But yeah, the Alice transfer is available. Um, the, uh, I used the Cacti and the Floral Romance and the Lace transfer, I posted pieces with those today, and they all have links attached to those as well. But anyway, so I'm super excited to use it, but I'm more excited tonight about this color. So I am mixing evergreen, which is evergreen, and holy guacamole, which looks like baby poop, right? Does this look like baby poop? It does. Uh, yeah, it does. It looks like baby poop, for sure. So I'm mixing them one-to-one -one in this fancy, fancy coconut Cool Whip because I eat a lot of this with fruit jar. All right, so uh, I'm hopefully gonna mix enough up to do the whole thing. I'm just gonna, right now, I'm gonna do two spoonfuls. I only did one, I was just live over on Dixie Bell's page. We had lots of internet issues. We don't, we, our internet company number three is fired. Uh, We're not gonna name names, but it's an American telephone uh, and telegraph company. So annoying, so annoying. Anyway, uh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I just did one tablespoon of each color um, over there, but I'm gonna do two of each color right now. And mix this up in my little jar, my little bowl, and keep painting. Uh, you know what I was kind of bummed about though? This is the problem with me trying to get ready for these lives too quickly without really thinking things all the way through till, I'm, till it's too late. Uh, I really like the base. I wish, kind of wish I'd left the legs raw. <laughs> I kind of like this green up against that raw brown. It's kind of cool. Too late. Too late. Unless I wanted to try to strip all this off. And I don't. I could always fake it. You know you can fake wood. I could fake it with like chocolate paint, the chocolate brown, and then put a black wash over it and I could fake that it was raw wood on the bottom if I really wanted that color I could make it so got a whole jar full here how are we doing we uh we were doing great over there and then we it, our live ended we lost like 150 people like that it was really sad so I hope you guys have found your way over here so I'm gonna keep going I'm just pouncing um which is a technique, you can brush it on. If pouncing, if you don't like to pounce, you can brush, you can do this, or you can brush and get it all over, smear it in really good, and then go back and pounce out the finish if you want. You can do that too. Does anyone have any questions about this process and why I'm doing it? If you followed me for a while, you know that I love to pounce or stipple. Um, it's just a great way to apply your paint 
with minimal brush strokes. Did you notice I'm painting tonight with no water? Uh, we usually always have water on hand when we're working with Dixie Ball paint. Uh, it's a self-leveling paint, but it, it levels even better if you add a little bit of water to it, just spritz a little bit of water. Same thing though, if you do this, it sort of thinks that it's being sprayed. People are noticing you're on a green kick. <laughs> I, you know what? I wondered if someone would notice. I'm really not. I, I don't probably, I don't think I have one green thing in my house, do we? Uh, no, we don't. No, we don't. I, I'm not, I don't know. Maybe it's a Jones and for spring. I don't know, but no, it's, it's that when I looked at that transfer up there, I just was like, what color do I want to do? I don't want to do turquoise. I don't want to do pink. I don't want to do yellow. I didn't want to do black. I didn't want to do gray. Why aren't you using water on this tonight? Uh, just to show you just another way, just to give you an op, just to mix it in, just mixing it up, mixing it up, showing options. You can. Water works. Water works too. Um, but this gives you really good coverage in one coat. For sure. I mean, I really probably wouldn't have to do a second coat of this if I didn't want to, especially if I was going to do a, a glaze or a wash or anything over it. So, pouncing would probably be good on a surface that's kind of, you know, sometimes you get that laminate that's peeling up a little bit. Yes. Since it's textured. Is this your question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Um, it's really good for slick surfaces. Pouncing works really, really good. So, if you're painting on metal, uh, formica, plastic, anything like that. Or anything with a non-even finish. Well, surface. okay, so that's a whole nother that's a whole nother issue. So if you've got something that is not smooth and you want to uh, you don't want to resurface the whole thing, you can add sea spray to your paint. It's Roxana, a, that's a that's a gray boss. That's oh, a yeah. primer underneath that green. Look at you answering questions for me. Good for you. Thank you, honey. Um you can add sea spray, which is a powder additive that Dixie Belle also has. Sea spray. It comes in a Tiffany blue bag. And um, you can add that additive to your paint, stir it in, it makes it nice and thick. And then you can stipple with that. And it gives like that aged, roughed texture, which is a really good thing to use over like what Matt's talking about. Surfaces that are damaged or peeling veneer or I mean you can fix those you can use Dixie Belle mud You can fix those and sand them back and make it super smooth But if it's just got some chips and dings and you want like an, an aged old world surface anyway Just add throw some sea spray in your paint start it up and then you can stipple like this and that takes care of it um, But this right here doesn't give you texture you would think that this gives you texture it doesn't it settles down if you put enough on there, it's going to flatten out and it lays down really beautifully and it gives you a super smooth, super smooth finish. Lori says pouncing doesn't leave the marks where the brush meets the surface. No. Right. It makes, uh, exactly, because if you're brushing, which brushing works, but you have to know how to do it. So if you're a beginner and you don't really get the brushing, and you're brushing and you overbrush. People that are just starting always overbrush. And you overbrush and you're not using water. Um, you're overbrushing and you're you're just dragging all of these bristles through your paint. You're leaving like a, what I call like ruts. You're leaving like yeah. highway ruts. Um, and that then that makes more brush strokes. So if you want to brush and paint, which I do all the time, but I've been doing it a long time and I'm you know I know when I need to stop going through my paint, or I also use um, a mister bottle and use water at the same time, and it sort of makes like a little floating system on the paint, and then it allows it to self-level, but that takes practice. So this is just another way to do it um, that is really easy and kind of fail-proof and gives you that same smooth finish. And I'm barely doing it. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not going like that. You know, I'm just tapping it. I'm just look nice, just nice little tap, tap, tap. Does pouncing work with stain? Mm. Not really. I've never, I don't, I don't think it would. The stains are, uh, no, 
the, the gel stains that Dixie Belle has are too thick. Too thick to do this. Voodoo gel stain, but I don't know really why you would do that. Voodoo gel stains are really thin. Um, they're meant to be, you know, brushed on and wiped off or put on with a pad. So right now I'm using my flat mini brush, but if I had a larger brush, I would even cover more surface if I had a larger. What brush are you using right there? Right now I'm using the flat medium brush, and I know Dixie Bells doesn't have a lot of brushes available right now because we're having, you know, like a major crisis. <laughs> having a major paintbrush crisis. We're all gonna be, and we're all gonna be painting with our fingers sooner or later. No, we're so spoiled to these brushes, it's hard to go back. All those years I used those Hobby Lobby mini brushes. I mean, they're fine, but they're so spoiled to these Dixie Belle synthetic brushes. So pretty. Pretty, pretty. So let me get that transfer out. I'm going to take it out of the package. Now, I'm, I mean, this isn't just going to be flat green with a transfer stuck in the middle. You know better than that, right? It's gonna be a green with a transfer. I'm sure we'll have some black and white stripes on here somewhere. Um, and I'm thinking I'm probably gonna use um, like the gilding wax and garnet or something like that um, to go in and or do with some peony or maybe not peony, but maybe plum crazy and make myself a stain or a wash and get it up in the grooves. Uh, Amanda says, uh, <clears throat> it's just, I have road all over with my stained clear top and I don't like it. So how can she remedy that? Okay, so read to me again what you say. I think she's saying that the roads, when you overbrush, you were talking about the little trenches or whatever you call them, uh -huh. um, all over with her stained clear top. So you have stain and then you put a clear top coat on top of it is that what you mean is that how you read that mount whatever you're reading is that read how you it read? the way she wrote it i just it's just i have road all over my stained clear top and i don't like it stained clear top so i'm thinking she probably has a stained top and then she put a clear top coat on top of it okay so i like to use the applicator sponges to apply my stain um so and my so do you know those who's asking that amanda um, let's see. Let, let me, me get back. the, let yes, me get the Amanda. applicator top. I mean, the applicator pad. Debbie, she made that paint, that color herself with, uh, what was that, avocado and yellow? Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. With holy, it's one to one ratio, holy guacamole and evergreen. So this is an applicator pad. They come in a pack of two. Dixie Belle has them. This is what I use to apply my stain. Unless I'm putting on heavy stain, I'll brush on, but I use something like this to pull off the excess so that it's, I'm not using a brush. And then when I put my top coat on, especially if it's a bit like this up here, I'll top coat up here with this, with one of these, because it's just a big flat surface. I don't be, want to be running my, my brush back and forth. I'm gonna apply my top coat. With, she says, yes, I use those. I think that may be too much to coat. Oh, so she did use this. Sounds like it. I have a blog I would love for you to go look at. It um, is on my website, and I believe, oh gosh. You know what? I'll go back through here, Amanda, when this is over, and find your comment, and I will send you the link to my blog. It's a blog about applying top coat with the applicator sponge, and it also has a video in it. Oh, yeah. She said she corrected herself. Uh, she said maybe too much top coat. Too much top coat or too much overworking of your top coat, I'm thinking. Because you'll see in my video, I, I have a really good video where I dip it. I actually use one of these Cool Whip lids, just like this. And I dip it and I put it on flat and I just go from one side to the other and I move my sponge. And I dip it again and I go one side to the other, the next row, and then the next row. And then I let that dry and then I go back and I do it again. So, um, I don't know. It's hard to say because I can't see it. But... I'm glad to know that you're using one of these. And yeah, she was overworking it, and she wants to know how she can fix it now. Okay, so um, you're going to have to sand it. You're going to have to sand it back. You're going to have to sand it. You don't have to sand it completely off, probably, 
but you do have to kind of get back in there and rough that up, buff it out as much as you can, and then reapply. It's hard to say since I can't see it. So Amber says, uh, send me that blog uh, about applying top coat over stain, please. I will. It's at, well, actually, I have to. It's actually top coat over, over black paint, which is also equally as difficult and, uh, and just as hard. But I have a blog about that. But I also have a blog about top coats over, over stain as well. So I will. I will. So anyway, um, I'm glad y'all like this green. I like it a lot. Oh, I know. I was opening this so that we could see. So we could see the, um, the green leaves it. Can you see that pretty clearly? That looks really good, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be really fun. Really fun. I think. Crazy? Too crazy? <laughs> Not as crazy as your last one. Matt thinks my last piece was too crazy. I call her gaudy. Did y'all see it? I hope you did. I love her. I might be stuck with her a while. <laughs> I love her. Too heavy to move around. <laughs> it is very heavy. It is very heavy. I do. We do have shippers, you guys. You know that, right? I have shippers who will come here and pick it up and get it to you. Bring it right into your house. Someone get it. I have that little red, uh, I have the red French Provincial dresser available still, and I have the uh, blue armoire with the angel wings, um, the Moroccan piece, and this last week's green and gold buffet with the vibrant pink inside, and then I will have this. This one's going to take me a while, guys, though. I won't, when I shut down tonight, I won't touch this again until we're live again next week. We have, a, we have a lot going on this week and this weekend. I'll be doing tea sets though. I will definitely be out here working on some tea sets, but I know I won't, I know I won't be back on this. People are liking the green. Thank ya. I like it. What should we call it? We're just gonna call it Olive? Tracy's Olive? Call it the booger. I'm not calling it the booger. This doesn't look like a booger. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, How much is shipping? It all depends on where you are, Amanda. Yeah, it depends on where you are. Um, but honestly, you can kind of, you can kind of, you can pretty much estimate that shipping is going to run you, on average, about three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Three twenty-five, three fifty, somewhere around there. That's what shipping is going to run, which really isn't bad. These pieces are huge. This is huge. This piece is very, very large, yeah. um, and very heavy. So someone comes and gets it. They blanket wrap it and put it in their truck and take it with them across the country as they make multiple deliveries. Then they get to your house and they carry it in and unwrap it and set it up in the place that you. So it's really not bad, um, to be honest. But anyway, I think that's it, guys. I think we're going to let you go. I, uh, I think I'll keep painting until all of this is gone out of here and then wash my brushes and be done for the night. And it looks like probably at this point I'll be sharing. I should be able to share the tea set class tomorrow. That's what I'm hoping. I think things will be done and wrapped up and ready to share with y'all then so y'all keep your eye open. I'm really excited about that. I just took photos of two more sets today. So anyway, okay, love you guys. Y'all have a wonderful Wednesday night, and we will see y'all next week. Bye, Instagram, and goodbye, Facebook. See you guys. See you later. Bye.